Throughout my teenage years, I studied Buddhism and Hinduism and Maoism and Taoism and Sikhism and Jainism and all kinds of other isms and schisms, and including the Bible. Just trying to find out what the answer was, if there was any answer after this life. I decided I wanted to head out to the epicenter of religious thought back in the 70s, which was California. And I wanted to be an actor, you know, like everybody in California. I ended up meeting this girl and she said, if you want to be an actor, what you might want to think about doing is being a model. So they did some shots with me and she said, yeah, she said, you've got what we want, but you got to go to New York. And I thought, well, you know, this was great. There's a major, major company, a modeling agency, acting agency. And so I thought, okay, I'll do this. My friends were having a party at Balboa Park and it was a beautiful night. Uh, I remember fireworks going off, climbing up on the roof of my van and I'm just kind of looking up and thinking, wow, I've got everything. And now here I am going into New York. I'm gonna become famous and all this. I was all excited about this. And I remember just looking up and I remember just holding my hands up. And I started to feel this tingling come up into my chest. And the next thing, boom, I fell down on the roof of my and van. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, no, wait a minute, Ken, what's going thought, on? Well, not Ken, you might be dying. No, you can't be dying. You got all this in front of you. You can't be dying. But then I started to think, you might be dying. You better figure this out quick. So I started thinking all the different, you know, Eastern thought, Buddhism, kind of settled in on Hinduism because that kind of made the most sense to me. So I'm thinking, and then I thought that might be the answer. Maybe that's it. But I remember having this incredible feeling of being lost. And I remember just laying there and I had this fear that overtook me about dying and I remember just saying in myself, you know, God, I don't know who you are, what you are, but please show me. And um, that verse that I had read in the Bible came into my mind at that moment. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no one comes unto the Father except through me. And I remember hearing that, and I thought, okay, okay, give me another chance. And I found what Jesus meant when he said, I am the only way. And I realized all these other religions and cults, the reason why they were so popular is because they appealed to your pride, they gave you a way to earn your way into heaven and to come to know Christ, to come to know God through his son. There's no way to get to him except through what Jesus did when he died on the cross. And that night I gave my life to Christ.